Make sure to go to the podcast, the Retire Young podcast on Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, and Spotify. Leave us a comment and a review on different topics you'd like to hear next. If you're just tuning in, Al is shedding some light on how the smart money utilizes the stock market to create income, but also how do they utilize the the futures market, the forex market, and the options market, but also how those markets really work. And it's, it's you know, especially like the options market, it's you're still utilizing the stock market. So these are multiple opportunities that, that us as investors have. So, Al, as we get into this next segment, I want to talk more about retirement accounts and retirement strategies because we have a lot of listeners probably driving in their car right now, and they're thinking, what am I going to do or how am I going to get to retirement? And they want to know the different opportunities we have, what are the right assets to get there. Let's talk about the stock market and why that's such a phenomenal opportunity, especially in retirement accounts, but there's multiple ways you can use the stock market. Exactly. And most people that have a 401k or 403b, uh, most of them are probably in mutual funds. But what a lot of our students want to do once they realize what some of the disadvantages to mutual funds are. If they have access to individual stocks or exchange-traded funds, they will choose to do that. And that's part of what we do in these classes. Josh, just talk about what we call dynamic 401k management. It's it's looking at the 401k because a lot of people, to be honest with you, really don't understand what's in their 401k or why they have what they have. Those are all things that are important. You know, we talk about um, using our supply and demand strategy to identify proper entry or exit points. The same thing can be used with mutual funds if you understand how the strategy works, understand what causes prices to change, whether it's in an upward uh, movement or a downward movement. So managing your 401ks, you can do a better job. There are ways of doing that. Uh, but a lot of people are are just conditioned to put as much money as they can in the 401ks, even past what we think is the the, the number one uh, benefit of a 401k or 403b, and that's matched money. So if your employer matches a certain amount of what you put in, that's free money. That free money is, to me, that's the best kind of money there is. I like free, especially when it's free 99. That's, that's correct. <laughs> well, it, what a lot of people do, though, they continue putting money into something that, to be honest with you, has mediocre choices to begin with, has high fees, and can really do nothing to participate in a down market. In other words, mutual fund managers can't short the market. You can't short in a 401k. Uh, there are very few choices that will allow you to to do that, and if any, in, in your 401k or 403b. But people keep putting money into those accounts. Well, what our students do once they understand how things function and what they have the availability of is put together a self-directed IRA. It could be a, a traditional IRA or a Roth IRA. And it, it just uh, almost every time I do one of these classes, people say, well, you mean you really can have an account like that where you make the choices? And how do you do that? And those are the things that we talk about through any of the, the brokers that are out there. Uh, probably one of the discount brokers for most people, they will set up a a self-directed IRA. No fees. Uh, You make choices that are plentiful. In other words, you don't just have access to mutual funds or ETFs or stock. You have access to these other things like options and futures and Forex. But stock from a a long-term or for a long-term uh, wealth buildup retirement account, stocks are probably the, the best asset to use it, but if you use them properly, and, and that gets back to identifying the right one to be in at the right time to take advantage of moves that really are precipitated by the by the big players, by the smart money out there. You don't have to just put together a stock portfolio and hold on to it for 20 or 30 years without managing it. And that's one of the things we talk about, using options, for example, in addition to a, a, an equity portfolio to, to, to boost the returns and to also provide protection. Yeah, well, the key is there, like you said, and you kind of stole my thunder, but you have to get in these positions, or us as investors, you want to buy low, sell high, but the public typically doesn't know where that is, but how to do that either. And there's multiple opportunities within the stock market in retirement plans. So that way, you're not just stuck to the buy and hope. We, we mentioned that at the beginning of the show, the the, the smoke and the hopium. It's not about that. If you have uh, low risk, high reward, high probability entry points, even in your retirement accounts, that's what the institutions are doing. So we want to kind of trade like them. So, Al, you know, you talk a lot about retirement accounts. 
and you we walk through and dissect the 401k different opportunities that we have they're they're limited but there's things that you know you can check with your sponsor to see what are what the possibilities are al you mentioned uh self-directing and uh people want to have the confidence to do that and some people just don't understand first off that you can do that but they don't really they sometimes they want to shy away from doing that because they feel they don't have the knowledge to do that well, of course they don't have the knowledge. That's why you have to gain that knowledge, but also build that skill. And that's one of the things that you talk a lot about in those investing classes. So when you self-direct, let's kind of di- dissect how an ind- individual individual would actually start as far as to start that account. Because some people just don't know that you can do that, but how to do it. Sure. And any one of the brokers should have, it should give you access to an IRA that you can set up. You don't have to have a financial advisor or broker they're making decisions for you or placing the trades for you. You don't have to go through a, a human being, for example. Uh, we all have, most of us have computers that we can use that are that have access to the Internet, high-speed Internet. The trading platforms are, are very sophisticated. Uh, that doesn't mean that, that they're overcomplicated, but for people that are very sophisticated, they have access to you know, tools there that will help. But I, wanted, I just want to bring something. You said, you know, that it's not overcomplicated because a lot of people think that it is overcomplicated. It's just, you know, once you understand, I mean, you don't have to be a computer genius to do that, but you just com- basic com- uh, computer knowledge. I mean, you can do that, Al. I, mean, I, was, gonna, I, was, I was even <laughs> going to use myself as no, an but, example. Yeah, but not to make it sound like it's easy, but it, it's just, it's available and the... The software, the the computer does a lot of it for you mm-hmm. when you place your trades, and you it, it actually executes for you. Yeah, and, and one of the things that that we provide for our students is a, a platform, an analysis platform that takes you down the steps that are part of our strategy. And that's also, I, I guess, I kind of look at it as as being declutter investing or or trading. You try to keep it as simple as possible. In in For our students, the strategy, our basic strategy is the same strategy that's used for anything, whether you are investing in stock or uh, mutual funds or or ETFs, uh, futures, forex options, the same basic strategy. So you don't have to learn four or five different ways of doing this. The, The strategy, the basic strategy is the same to help you identify, you know, the right entry, the right exit. Uh, it also is going to kind of keep you out of your own way because it follows a set of rules that that you follow. And that's what will help, I think, people that are a little concerned about doing this on their own because whether they subconsciously or consciously will admit it, they know that their emotions are going to get in the way. So you have to control emotions, and the only way you can do that is to follow a set of rules. And that, as much as possible, will take the emotions out of training. That that prohibits you from being your worst enemy. So if you follow a set of rules, a step-by-step process for every trade, everything that you're doing, uh, that really will help to keep things simple. That click platform will, is actually going to tell you whether it's a good trade or not, and that quality trade that we talked about. Yeah, it's going to guide you through that process. I mean, nothing's going to tell you when you shouldn't sh- or shouldn't trade, but if you have the guidance through there, and it's really making better investment decisions. And it's all having it's all about having that step by step process within your your four hundred one ks or your IRAs, so that way you have more consistency. But also the key word is more confidence making those decisions. And it's a, it's a you know learning some knowledge, but then learning some skill to be able to execute. And Al, you mentioned a lot about these uh, a lot about these uh, self directed accounts and kind of how those work and some of the opportunities that the, the smart money is using that is also available to us, the average investor. Al, coming up in this next segment, um, as we close the show out, I want to talk a lot about how to have a proper investment plan. within Having some rules within there. We mentioned earlier it's a step-by-step uh, process, but really how to start that plan. This is Josh and Al. We will be right back. <laughs> 